Told me. Great. So we have to physically bring the notebook down. Yes, indeed. Wonderful. Looks like Drexel's team's getting ready. How hard do you want me to run them? Sophie, listen, it's a straight stall, nothing mm -hmm. fancy. Why? Well, I need to know the teams if I'm going to run the game. I got you, Soph. Anybody goes up that mountain, they have to register with Park Service, so... No, 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 not names and not personalities, feelings. Karen, you climb, right? Yeah. Big sweaters, very cheerful. It's Team Strauss. The bald one is Hans Strauss. Acquisitions and mergers of some giant German bank. He's very flirty. Guten Tag. Warten Sie ein Glas Schnaps? Yeah, thank Japanese climbers. It's Hiro Miyashita with Makino Finance, a big investment firm, one of Drexel's main competitors. They offered Alan a job a few times. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. It's odd, they're usually at the Alps this time of year. Miyashita's a very serious climber. The mountain is more beautiful now that you are here. <laughs> very serious about finding out what's inside my sweater anyway. And the Aussies. Oh, just some celebrities, rich kids or rich people, people on newspaper, stuff like that. Tourist climbers, Drexel's friends. It's really just an excuse to jet around the world partying. It's one big worldwide party. Well then, let's get invited. Hardison, I need a Paris phone number redirected to my phone. Got it. Bella Flora, number is 06 36 37 84 75. Nate? I could use your help. This place is much better in pairs. Yeah, uh, no, no, I, I think that I should probably just uh, stay here. It's easier to monitor Parker and Elliot. Besides, it's good that there's one phase he hasn't seen. What's she doing? She is meeting Drexel for the second time. Gusho. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Do you know who I am? Oui. But do you know who I am? No. Oh, we've never met. <laughs> Vraiment. Mount Rainier, we have the hot toddies. Oh, Mina, come to my tent. I'll warm you up. No? You don't call me? I don't have your number. <laughs> Vraiment. Oh, Mina, you type it for me. I'm too drunk to touch the little buttons. Well, I guess we have met before. Yes, we have met. Get me a drink. I help you remember. She's kind of scary. You have no idea. I'm coming up on an orange tent. The supplies. Will this be Alan Scott's tent? Nah, man, that's a high camp. They're like little supply depots scattered all the way up the mountain. First aid, oxygen, water, that sort of thing. All right, Nate, Alan Scott's last known communication with base camp was at north 63 degrees, 6 minutes, 56 seconds, and west 150 degrees, 44 minutes, 34 seconds. So that high camp elevation is 10,000 feet, which means that Elliot and Parker should be getting a ping off of his beacon, but... It's, it's just nothing. I'm thinking I need to send another transmitter up there to help triangulate Scott's beacon. No, 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 I can't send another climber on the ridge, no. You sure about that? What do you mean? So I got a footprint, Russian, space nuts. Seriously? It's a very distinctive footprint. Drexel had the same idea we had. Um, Elliot Parker, be careful. You got some competition up there. Sophie, what's Drexel's status? All good. Going nowhere. What was that? Come on. Oh, <laughs> who are you texting, huh? You have another woman? Listen to you. No. When you're the boss of a company, you don't get much time off. I'll tell you what, I will have some more spare time to do some traveling. Maybe uh, get to Paris a bit more often. A text is great. The text he sent that other guy is going to have to transfer here through my cell repeater, which means I can find our Russian, who is not on the mountain. What do you mean? This doesn't make any sense. The text he just sent went to a cell phone at the base camp tent. Miasta, he sent a text to his competitor. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions? 
suggestions, Nate. No, I have a more pressing problem at the moment. You were right. She took the other receiver. What are you doing? I'm going after her. You got a signal? Yeah. Yeah, she took the same route Elliot Parker took. She's gonna swing north to triangulate Scott's signal and... Wait, are, are, are you crazy? Come on, man, she's an experienced climber. Are you Here's kidding me? what I want you to do. I want you to get financials on my Ashes company, cross-reference them with the work you've done on Drexel's, and, and, and give it all to Sophie. All right, Sophie, this is on you. You gotta figure out what he's up to. Do not do this. As if you ever listen to me. <laughs> He's gonna die. Elliot, Parker, I need y'all to double back and stop him. Can you? I'm a little busy here, Hardison. There's definitely something going on. What'd you find out in the accounts? There's been some big stock transfers. Like me, Ashton. See, this is something you would see before a, a big corporate takeover, but that's impossible. I mean, there have been no rumors about a buyout this big. Drexel did say he was gonna have a lot more spare time. Check the climber registration. Find out which of me Ashton's guys are on the mountain for the first time. Most of them. They don't have a lot of climbing experience either. That's because they're not climbers. They're lawyers. This is a buyout. All right. This is perfect. Mountain camps. There's no reporters, there are no other employees. This is the perfect place for secret negotiations. Drexel is... He's selling the company. He sells the company, and then all those mortgage records disappear into a Japanese corporation where the privacy laws are tighter than the Swiss. Yeah, Trexel gets paid in a way scot-free. Hardison, you shut down his phone. He cannot check his stock or his messages for this to work. I'm changing the game. Hey, ein Schnapsbitter. Mm. You are not happy. Damn right I'm not. My company came this close to snapping up Merced Financial and then Miash just swoops in like a white knight. The second they announce, the stock's gonna go through the roof and we'll never be able to buy him out. That's six months of my life just wasted. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't even catch your name. Hans, I am... Um, just a climber. Oh. Hans, uh, no we Nate? Nate? Somebody say something. Where is she, Artisan? She is right ahead of you. Now, see, her receiver's working, and between her and Parker's receiver, I'm getting a fix on Alan Scout's location, but, I mean, she's gotta know that she's high enough. Why does she keep climbing? Because she has to! We better find her. Or you're gonna be hauling two bodies off this mountain instead of one. Okay, look. Thanks to Mrs. Scott, I have a fix on her husband. But the location is way, way off from the location that Drexel gave the rescue crews. Does anybody else think something really bad went down that night? What? Here? Are you kidding me? There's nothing here! Yes, no, no. It's, it's, it's got to be there. It's, it's the only location for the body to logically be. Well, you're wrong. No, I'm telling you, you are standing right on top of it. And I'm telling you that how can we be here if here isn't even here, all right? We're literally standing in a field of snow. Elliot, Parker, Parker. Oh, Nate, Nate, man, we got a problem, Nate. We... Nate. Come on, Nate, answer me, Nate. I, I need you to answer me, Nate. Nate. 